As my parents signed the divorce papers, I saw a relief in my mom's face. They truly did love each other, but according to my mom, love does not always pull through. Since my dad wasn't the provider of my family, my mom got custody of me easily. As soon as she signed the divorce papers, we left for the airport. I gave my dad one big last hug, with tears blurring my vision. Don't cry, don't cry, Wyan. I'll always be with, you. I'll always be a call away, even if you're half across the world. He tried his best to sound strong, but I can hear muffled sobs in his voice. I finally let go and left for the airport with my mom. She wants to return to our roots and have me learn more about my quirk and how to control it. She's my mom who was semi-famous for her family in Japan. I was able to start this new school called UA High School with a recommendation. The car ride to the airport was long and boring. Nothing to do but stare at the rain outside. As we arrived, we checked in our bags and went to our gate because we left pretty late. We got into the plane and my mom sat in first class while I preferred second class. I sat down shortly after the plane took off. I fell, I slowly fell into a peaceful darkness and before I knew it, I was sleeping. I woke up to a fly attendant calling, calling me, Miss Smith, we have arrived to Japan. Please exit from the front entrance. I got up and, and thanked her while bowing at her. Because my mom said that's how we greet people. I exited the plane to see my mom waiting for me at the end of the gate. What took you so long? We have to get to the house and unpack. And you still have to send your family friends to meet with me for dinner. Sorry mom, I fell asleep and I was the last one to leave the plane. My mom just huffed and signed for me to follow her to the car for she already got our bags. Well, while we were driving, I looked at the peaceful streets. In New York, it was always crowded, but here it was quiet and clear. We've arrived to the house and it wasn't expected what I expected from my mom. She's always the one who loved big pricey things, but this house said otherwise. It was two, was a two-story house that was in a very calm community. As we walked to the house, I saw neighbors slightly opening with their red hair. As, sorry guys, I'm stumbling a lot today. I cannot read properly. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I have to read that sentence over. Try not to get annoyed with me, please. As we walked to the house, I saw the neighbor's window slightly open with a red-haired boy peeking. We made eye contact, he, and he closed it real fast. It was kind of funny, but I couldn't show it because I knew he was still looking. I could sense it with my quirk. Wyan, Ellen. Her quirk is telekinesis. Oh. Quick stop, this is President May speaking. She can move anything with her mind and also communicate with others without speaking. She can also feel mind wave, mind wave around her. If she focuses enough, she can even lift herself. I decided that maybe bringing over some treats for the neighbors could let me actually meet this boy. I begged my mom, but she refused, saying how we have more important things to do. I sat and just went along with it like I always do. I'm not a bad child. It's just sometimes being perfect for a person makes you want to scream. After that, my mom just told me to get ready for dinner. With Bakugos. With the Bakugos, who live kind of far. As I got ready, I looked through my window to see uh, another room meant for the boy. Maybe, that, maybe that's the red hair boy I saw earlier. I saw him in bed looking for condition, dwindle condition, 
Conditionally? What? I cannot read today. What is wrong with me? So if I, if he was in his room, I wouldn't get caught. I waited for about 15 minutes until I heard my mom calling me down, calling me down to come down. What? Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> I don't think I can do this. <laughs> I cannot read today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I probably have dyslexia or something. So I rushed downstairs to get my dress on. I took one last look and he wasn't there, so I just left. Kirishima's, Kirishima's point of view. My mom was very excited to hear that we're having new neighbors, but they haven't arrived yet. And she hadn't and she had to leave for her month her month work trip. Work trip. Kirishima, make sure you clean the clean your room. Take out all the trash and don't leave extra things on or else. Mom, I'll be fine. You left me in a house before without Dad. I know, sweetie. It's just never been a full month. I'm Plus, your dad will be gone for two months. Makes me worried. Because you will be all alone. Mom, it's not like I don't have friends or anything. I'll just hang up with Mina or something. Okay, baby. I'll call you later. When I get to the States. And with that, my mom was hugging me to leave. Of course I'll miss her, but I can't wait to hang out with my all day with my friends. Since my mom was trusting me at home, I decided to get some chores done first. I washed the extra dishes. Next, I cleaned my room and swept the floors. Then finally, I had to take the garbage out. I was walking to the door. A, fr a pretty fancy car for the neighbor pulled up, revealing a serious woman and a beautiful girl. A beautiful girl. Wow, she just wow. I looked at the window because my body was literally, literally wouldn't let me outside the house. She had a beautiful hair color, was soft, was soft, was like. This doesn't actually say what um, color your eyes and hair is, so just ignore that. If she's my neighbor, I might just die. Be before I could even find out she made straight eye, con eye contact with me. As soon as I saw her staring right back at me, I jumped from the window, but still peeked. Even though you couldn't see me, it was still looking like she it still looked like she could. She stared at me for a moment until the serious woman, who must have been her mother, told her to come. Then I found out. Then I found my phone, and I called Mina because I need someone to talk to about my new neighbor. First time, Mina. Hey, Mina. Here, Kiri. Hey, Kiri. Why are you calling me so early on our daily FaceTime? Calls happen at 6 p.m. I know, but I need you to come over right now. Why? Are you okay? Did you turn your into a arm into a rock again and get stuck in the sink? <laughs> no, Mina. That was one time. Now stop teasing me and get over here. Fine, I'll be in t I'll be there in ten. FaceTime over. Guys, I'm so trippy, I cannot read. Okay? So <laughs> please don't hate me. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Part 2 will be come out later today or probably like after 3 tomorrow. Bye guys.